going on guys just out here i have to work on the truck um so basically i was recently viu'd they call it where i am and um they basically told me because the lack of mud flaps and poke they want me to put well, i guess husky liners on basically is what they're called so i'm going to be installing those today and then We'll see how that goes. Sorry, I don't have my tripod or anything or else, you know, I would be kind of filming a little bit better. But I mean, I'm going to film as much as I possibly can. My buddy just ran to go get some uh, self tappers. Kind of sucks. I really don't want to be drilling into my truck, but I mean, they're just going to keep giving me tickets after tickets. Also, I have to remove the tint off the front windows because apparently it's too dark. So I think limit is 50% here. Um, I might end up doing a 35% because right now they match and they're it's 14% all the way around and the cops don't like it which kind of sucks but so yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today yeah as you can see I don't have any mud flaps at all there was factory ones I just removed them to put these husky liners on I'll show you them right away but yeah I mean I don't even have really that much poke but uh caught measured it he said it was an inch and a half out so i'm just buying those well i bought those husky liners so and then there's a tint that they're making me take off like i mean you can still see in the truck so i really don't get what their issue is but yeah and then i had recently powder coated these they're not sorry they're plastic dipped i was trying to powder coat them um they were originally all chrome couldn't get the chrome off didn't want to spend a lot of money on them so i literally went to canadian tire and picked up some plastic dip and surprisingly they turned out pretty well it's kind of funny because i actually got quite a bit of compliments on how it looks with plastic dip on the wheels i mean summertime i'll probably get them finished and actually properly powder coated but we'll see how that goes i mean got a few other things i don't usually drive my truck in the winter or in the summertime so i mean it usually just sits in the yard. I drive my other cars. I have my E36, my Cutlass, and then I even have a Laurel tucked away back there. So, and then there's my Cutlass. But this is this is winter mode. This is what it looks like. I got everything crammed in the garage as fast as I could just before snow came. Parked the the Beamer. So, I mean, I don't know. I'll probably bring more content to the channel about these cars. I've just been learning all this stuff and trying to figure out how to do it exactly. So, I mean, I have some extra time now, so I might as well mess around with this. So, but yeah, so that's my cars. Um, the Laurel actually has an SR20 notch top in it. So an S14, SR20, pretty much stock. Uh, front mounted air cooler, that's about it, exhaust. Um, Fun little car to drive. Cutlass has a somewhat built 350 in it with four tens, uh, TH350 trans. Just picked that car up actually in the summertime. So it's been giving me a lot of fueling issues. So I'm gonna go back to a mechanical fuel pump on that one. Um, I have an aftermarket one that's wired up to a switch and stuff, but keeps failing on me. I've been through three of them. Things left me stranded multiple times. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna end up going back mechanical uh e36 is just on jnc wheels stock motor um legit bosch headlights though uh legit m m bumper carbon fiber hood is real uh yeah it's a vert uh lowered on race lands right now uh aftermarket steering wheel not much done to it um i don't know i really like the fact of how clean the car is by itself so and then probably the biggest project i have is this uh square body um i actually got this thing for free believe it or not and uh the guy just kind of told me yeah you want it come get it so i drove about an hour away from my house picked it up with a trailer doesn't run obviously it's sitting in a field for the past who knows how many years eight foot box um c25 so kind of sucks that it's just a rear wheel drive i was hoping for a c10 but um and in that way just a rear wheel drive truck but i mean it is what it is you can't complain with free right so it's a fun little project you're gonna learn how to weld and 
do all that stuff, cut out paneling and I mean the rockers are gone, the cab corners are gone, the floor is gone, like there's a lot of stuff that's gone on this truck. So um however my neighbor has a pretty mint condition cab. Like I think one cab corner needs to be replaced. That's it. The floor is mint, has a little bit of surface rust. Um so I'm gonna pick that up off of him. He has a bench for it and everything. Um so yeah so those are just a few of the projects but like i said we're gonna hit the truck because i have to get this thing inspected december 20th so yeah the sooner the better i get this done i guess plus we're getting what minus 20 weather so i mean i'm up in canada by the way so just so you're aware but uh other things i could bring to the channel if you wanted um for example i'm in the midst of building up a rink actually for my kids um, it's a 40, 40 by 60, or sorry, 30 by 60. Um, built a little fire pit over there. So I just want to do something for the kids, put up some Christmas decorations, decorate the tree there with lights, have my hockey lights up, just up in the trees. So actually, while I wait for my buddy to come back, I am going to feed the deer. So we feed them. We picked it up at the old PV Mart, and I got some salt for them as well. What we like to do is we put some food out for them just over here. They like coming over here and they hang out and I don't know. Maybe I'll try to film them one day and I'll make a video with that. Man, so I'm just going to come over here and what's the term? Graze. They graze over here. There we go. Yeah, they come over hard to see but over in the trees there they come over and hang out for a bit I think they kind of like live in our bushes over here they like to hang out over in that section and then they'll even come over this way and they'll kind of sit over back over there I'll try to film because I know they'll come back today it's actually quite a few bucks that come around here too I mean I'm not a hunter by any means so I mean you know, I'm not like, oh, they're this level or this grade or whatever. I just enjoy having wildlife around. We've got rabbits and stuff, too. You can hear the coyotes quite a bit. So just to give you guys an idea, these are the things I'm putting on. I just got them off of Amazon. They're little flexible, little fender liners, whatever you want to call them. Flares, whatever. But, yeah, so that's what I'm installing today. And they just kind of, like, go on the truck. kind of mount them in your wheel well like that just to compensate for the poke that I have on there and um yeah I don't know I think they look hideous but I mean what can I do they're making me put them on they might even end up just coming back off but we'll see so oh other things I have for projects too is uh you can kind of see them poked there area I'm trying to poke at them but yeah, I got a couple of sleds that I can be working on too. So, you know, I'll walk over and show you. There's so much crap in my yard too. But yeah, so there's an old Articat Jag, 70s Jag. Needs, I want to get this running for the kids actually. So, basically I need to machine the head. Um, and then just put a gasket in and it should fire up. So that's all this one needs. This one just needs a clutch pack. It's kind of like a stunting sled, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, but I mean, it's just a piece of garbage, but it's so much fun. So, took the limiter straps out of it so I can do catwalks with it. So, uh, yeah, and then I mean, this one needs a battery clutch packs or whatever they're called. I forget the name of them right now, but yeah. So, I mean, it was a nice sled before it had the original colors of blue and yellow. Kind of regret doing this to it, but I mean, it's pretty badass i like it it's fun to rip around on so i i may have hit a couple of trees a couple of summer or a couple of winters ago but what can you do it's all about having fun so as i said there's a bunch of them out here they're all running away he obviously scared them, but... Okay. 
can't really zoom in anymore, but There's just four of them eating. So I'm just heading home, finally installed these things, and I must say they are hideous. I do not like them at all, but I mean, I have to get inspected on the 20th, so I don't know. I might just remove them at that point, because I don't like the look of them at all. Like, they look brutal. Uh, the weird thing about the F-150s is... I never noticed it before, but like, because I have a Lariat, it has like the plastic little flare that comes factory on it, and um, they actually have a slope or an angle to them, so when we screwed on these flares, whatever, Husky liners, um, they, I'll show you in the video, I'll show you right away, but they look really bad, like they flare up. So, I mean, I'm just pulling into my driveway, so I will show you guys in like two seconds how bad it looks. All right, so there they are. Trying to get like a decent angle here. I mean, I guess they kind of blended. I mean, I don't know. I don't like the look of them, to be honest, but I mean, they look kind of goofy, but so, and I'll show you the back here. So, like, you see how it kind of, I'm not going to do this, see how they like flare up? Like, I don't know, it's just me, I don't really like them that much, but, I mean, and like the worst part, like I don't even have that much poke, like you've seen my buddy's truck, like he has way more poke than me, like I said, the guy even said to me, oh, well it's only like an inch and a half out, like, really, like it's not even, I don't know more of a cash grab than anything i guess but but yeah so that's uh that's how they look i mean i think my tire's low in the front there a little bit oh that one's like already gapped out i don't really want to stay on very well but they're self-tapped in i'll give you a look on how we did it so you just use some self tappers so but yeah I guess I'll leave you with that I guess all right so I'm just editing my video right now uh, and just realized that the phone was hooked up to my Bluetooth in my truck when I got out so all my audio is uh, not there <laughs> so I'm just gonna end it with this and uh, hope you guys have a good day and uh, I guess stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.